So hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a better way to interact with your contacts on your device. It's an application called Droop and I'm hopefully I'm saying it correctly. It's D-R-U-P-E. You can correct me in the comments below of course if I'm saying it wrong but it's an application that it's intending to give you access to your contacts but also give you interactions with your contact in a much more efficient way. Either being navigating to them, sending them text message, calling them, responding to a text message, doing a whole bunch of different things or even trying to block unwanted callers. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out Droop. I already installed Droop on my machine. Uh, I keep calling it Droop, you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and I have it right now swiping from the left side. You'll notice I have my contact information uh, sitting on the right side. It defaults to your favorite screen and I can interact with them in different ways. If I swipe to the right, these are the contacts that I have put into my device. Obviously these are not real contacts, so please don't bother trying to call these numbers. Uh, but what you can do is you can take a contact and then swipe it to whatever action you want to do. You can actually go navigation. You have to add an address, of course. If you have an address, it'll take you directly into Google Maps. Uh, you can send an email. If you have an email application, you can add that in there. Uh, the main, main benefit, again, if I want to go ahead and make a call, it'll launch the, the dialer and it'll try to call. There's no SIM in this device. Of course, it has a custom dialer that looks a lot better than what I've seen in a standard uh, dialer. So I've actually opted to make it my default dialer. Uh, going through the settings as far as what you can do, you have general settings for language, favorites, this is the tab you start off on, and the, the applications and the order of the applications that you show up. You notice this is where we are going through. So we had maps at the bottom and that's the default one. You can customize the first row and then you can of course add more um, as there's a bigger list here. You have Hangouts, uh, play, you know, obviously uh, send money, speak, uh, speaker call, note, and of course if you have Skype installed, this will also work with Skype. Uh, we have the dialer, we have the theme right now going with blue, you can change the theme as well. Uh, calls, caller ID, missed calls, call record, these are by default some notifications that will come up. It does have the ability to actually also interact with you in a pop-up mode, meaning if you receive a call from a caller that's not on your phone, it'll give you the pop-up to be able to add them to your contacts if you'd like. Uh, different themes, a lot of themes, you can definitely check those out. And then you can change the opacity here from the theme for the theme. Uh, clear in history, surnames first, birthday reminder, recent view, all the different customizations. Here, this is where you can customize either be the dot, the context, the uh, mini context, or disabled. And of course, is how to launch it basically with the dots right now. Uh, you can customize the different hotspots. And of course, there's a beta using the home button. Uh, personalization, again, you can do contacts on the right, contacts on the left. By default, I like to have my contacts on the right as I, when I launch it, I'd be able to swipe to it. Vibration, you can do sound effects, turn those off. SMS screen, uh, it just pops up in front of you. Last but not least, we have the share group, rate us, need help, and then join the beta community. Uh, again, I'll give you guys a link in the description to their Google+, Plus, but you can definitely check that out over here. I like the interface. I like how small and how simple it is. It's easy to just interact with it. Um, again, if your contacts are in your favorites, you can set it up here. Uh, for me, it just works the way I would like it to. And then again, I can just customize it. I can send a heart, favorite, do whatever I want here. Um, I can add another contact and then say, so add contact. We're gonna say one, two, three, and then we're gonna say done. You'll notice my contacts are here. Now I can interact with them. I can just say, let's just say, you know, obviously a voice message. It'll ask me for permission since we don't have that on. SMS, here's a text message. Yeah, you use typing or directly use voice and then send it. And then it interacts with the built-in SMS uh, system. So it's not overriding the fact that I have messages as my default SMS app. It just uses on top of it. So I've been using Droop for a while now and I've been using it on my main device. I did set it up on the secondary device mostly because I wanted to show you guys the example of how to use this. Uh, obviously because the group is, by default shows the contacts phone number, I didn't want to go through highlighting and then obviously blurring a whole bunch of different things. The short end of it is it's very nice, it's very easy to use. The ability to actually interact with it from a side swipe to initiate the contact conversations is very nice. It defaults to your favorites, you can customize it up the wazoo, there's themes, there's a whole bunch of different things that you could do to it. But I like the fact that you can use it with one button and then initiate conversations, either send a text message, send a voice message, calling, navigating is the other thing that I've always liked it, but it also works with other applications like Skype, um, or anything almost that's installed on your device. And there's updates that keep coming through from the developer. I'm gonna give you guys a link in the description below directly to the actual Play, Google Play Store application, as well as the Google Plus community forum as you'll be able to interact directly with the developer there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've used something similar to this before as this is a really nice, it's very well concise and put together and it's free. I didn't, you know, there's no real reason for you not to be able to just try it out and see what you think. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.